Adding a wireless access point or wireless hub to a wired Ethernet. The easiest way to create a wireless network is to add a wireless access point or wireless hub to an existing wired Ethernet LAN. Wired LANs with Internet access are all around us. You may have one in your home or small office. Most modern hotel rooms also have one. In this hotel room, I can see one right here. Like most such LANs, this one has Internet access and supports the well-known Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP. Here I have a wireless access point, which I am going to connect with the LAN. Once it is properly connected, it will allow laptop or other computers, equipped with a compatible wireless network interface, to use it exactly as if it were an old-fashioned Ethernet hub, except, of course, with no need for the usual Ethernet cables. In their most basic operational modes without encryption, wireless access points operate almost exactly like old-fashioned Ethernet hubs. You can learn a lot more about Ethernet hubs by watching the AskMrWizard.com movie entitled Ethernet Hubs Explained from our Ethernet series. You can also learn all about DHCP from our Internet series movie entitled Configuring Your Internet Connection Part 1, the Dynamic Host Control Protocol. If you're not familiar with Ethernet hubs and DHCP, you should watch those movies before proceeding here because this movie builds on those concepts. For today's exercise, I have chosen D-Link's DWLG 730AP wireless travel router with its mode switch set to the access point position. It has connectors for an Ethernet cable and for electrical power along the top edge as seen here. I'm going to connect it with the hotel's Ethernet LAN through this Ethernet cable. I plug one end into the hotel's network and the other end into the access point, like this. Then I must also connect electrical power using this small power supply module. On one end, of course, I plug it into a standard electrical outlet. And the other end snaps into the tiny little power connector on the access point. Notice that as soon as the electrical power is connected, the indicator lights illuminate, flashing in patterns to inform us of LAN and WAN activity. Congratulations. If you've just done this, you've just enhanced a wired Ethernet for wireless access and you've created a public wireless network. That is really all we need to do. Any laptop or other computer that is equipped with an industry standard wireless network interface can now connect with this wireless access point and can then access every service that's available from the wired LAN. If you already know how to access wireless networks, you are now ready to free yourself from those restricting Ethernet cables. Note that because we haven't turned on any encryption, anybody that's nearby can access this network. You can learn how to use encryption to convert this into a private network by watching other movies here at AskMrWizard.com. If you are not familiar with the process by which your computer finds and connects with access points through a wireless interface, you can see a fine example based on a Windows XP laptop accessing a public wireless network at a McDonald's restaurant by watching the AskMrWizard.com movie entitled McWireless, Wireless Networking at McDonald's. Of course, different businesses require different payment plans for wireless access, and if you're configuring your own wireless network, you won't need the credit card payment instructions that are necessary at McDonald's. But armed with the information in this movie and in that one, you will be ready for anything. Mm -hmm.